hello you are welcome how to solve this nice system of equation yeah let's leave it as equation one and here is equation two and from equation one we have x plus y equals to three then let's make y the subject and take x to this side then we have y equals to three minus x and from here leave this as equation three then from equation two we have x times y equals to three then let's substitute equation three in equation two here that is this becomes x multiplied by three minus x then equals to three from here then x open this bracket and this becomes 3x minus x square equals to 3 from here and when we rearrange and also take 3 to this side we have minus x square then plus 3x minus 3 from here equals to 0 from this side and to remove this minus here, we can multiply through by minus 1. That is, this equation becomes x square minus 3x plus 3 equals to 0 from here. Then we have a quadratic equation whereby a is 1, b equals to minus 3. Then C here equals to 3. From the formula, which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Then this becomes x equals to minus minus 3 plus or minus square root of minus 3 squared minus 4 times 1 times 3 then over 2 times 1 and when we simplify this further from here here we have x equals to minus times minus that's plus so we have 3 plus or minus square root of minus 3 square here that's 9 then minus 4 times 1 times 3 that's minus 12 over 2 from here that is here this becomes x equals to 3 plus or minus square root of 9 minus 12 here it was minus 3 then over 2 and also here we can write this as x equals to 3 plus or minus root 3 times root minus 1 over 2. That is root minus 1 here is i. Then we have x equals to 3 plus or minus root 3i over 2. So we, we have two values of x here which are imaginary that is from what we have we have x1 equals to 3 plus root 3 high over 2 and also we have x2 equals to 3 minus root 3 high over 2 that is from here we can equally write as x1 equals to 3 over 2 plus root 3 high over 2 which is also here x2 equals to 3 over 2 minus root 3 high over 2 then we can get the corresponding values of y from the relation which we have as y equals to 3 minus 
x from equation 3 then it implies that y1 from here will then be equals to 3 minus x1 which is 3 over 2 plus root 3 high over 2 then minus open the bracket here we have y1 equals to 3 minus 3 over 2 minus root 3 high over 2 and 3 minus 3 over 2 will still be 3 over 2 so we have y1 then equals to 3 over 2 minus root 3 high over 2 so here the first set of solution here which is x1 comma y1 we then be equals to x1 from here we have 3 over 2 plus root 3 high over 2 so 3 over 2 plus root 3 high over 2 then comma y1 we have 3 over 2 minus root 3 high over 2 that is also here we can find the corresponding value of y2 that is using this in relation y2 now equals to 3 minus x2 which is 3 over 2 minus root 3 i over 2 and we have y2 equals to 3 minus 3 over 2 plus root 3 high over 2 that is here we have y2 equals to 3 over 2 plus root 3 high over 2 now the second set of solution here which is x2 comma y2 here is now equals to from x2 we have 3 over 2 minus root 3 high over 2 then comma y2 we have 3 over 2 plus root 3 high over 2 so these are the solutions to this given problem and when we look at this the value of x in the first solution here is the value of y in the second solution and also the value of y here is the value of x here now we can check to confirm if this will satisfy the given problem that is we can use the first set of solution here now from equation one we have x plus y equals to three now this here becomes three over two plus root three high over two which is x then plus y which is three over two minus root three high over two is this equals to three yeah then root three high over two minus root three over two cancel out then we have three over two plus 3 over 2 here is equals to 3 here and the SCM here is 2 so here we have 3 plus 3 is equals to 3 3 plus 3 that's 6 over 2 is equals to 3 then 6 over 2 here that's 3 which is equals to 3 left hand side equals to right hand side and thus it satisfies the first equation and the second equation as well we have x times y equals to 3 then when we multiply we have 3 over 2 plus root 3 high over 2 then times 3 over 2 minus root 3 high over 2 and is this equals to 3 from here now when we follow what we have in power square a plus b multiplied by a minus b this is the same thing as a square minus b squared that is here 
we can write this as 3 over 2 squared then minus root 3 high over 2 squared is this equal to 3 from here then the square here affect 3 and 2 so we have here as 9 over 4 then minus also the square affect root 3 that become 3 then the square affect i that's i squared and i squared there is minus 1 then over 2 squared that's 4 is equals to 3 from here then here this is 9 over 4 then this is minus 3 then times minus here become plus that's plus 3 over 4 is equals to 3 and the SCM here is 4 so we still have 9 plus 3 here is equals to 3 from here and 9 plus 3 here that's 12 over 4 is equals to 3 of course 12 over 4 that's 3 which is equals to 3 left hand side equals to right hand side and hence from here the solution satisfies this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget this step subscribe for more videos turn the description bell on see you next class and bye for now